What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. In this episode or in this video, we're going to be going over bottom sheets and how to present and how to use like a, a small bottom sheet because with the new iOS 16, it gave us the ability to customize the size of the bottom sheet. Let me show you guys an example. So in iOS 15, they introduced a bottom sheet where you could set it up where it could be like this. But it'll only be medium and large. But now, with the new iOS 16, you can have a custom size bottom sheet like this. And this is actually inspired by um, the Airbnb application <laughs> because they have a pretty interesting, let me show you guys. They have a pretty interesting like app, I, I guess I was <laughs> like, it's pretty cool. Like they have a map and this bottom sheet here shows you like the homes and, and yeah i was trying to like play around and recreate that but i found that it was it was tricky although with the new ios um with the new stuff they implemented it was um it was super simple right it was just hard to find the solution and how to implement it so i'll just make a video on it <laughs> So one thing I forgot to mention, and I'm just mentioning it really quick now. This is actually a view controller that we're showing here. And, and yeah, so that's that's just something to keep in mind. If that's something that you really, if, if that's something that's vital for your project. All right, let's get into it. So let's open up Xcode. And this is done using UI Kit and, um, and yeah. We'll call this bottom sheet. All right, I'll call it small bottom sheet since that's what we're making. All right, we'll hit create. All right, and what do you want to do first? So you could use storyboards for this and all you have to do is implement this into a navigation controller and it'll work perfectly fine. Let me know in the comments if you use main the storyboard and it doesn't work, but all you need to do is put this in a navigation controller. But we're not going to use it. I don't like using it, to be honest. But I prefer doing it programmatically. I feel like it's better. Better practice for me. <laughs> um. So, yeah, we just do that. And then here in the scene, delegate. Window scene. Window equal window. Ah, it's a UI window. Window scene. Window dot make key invisible. Window actually before this we need to create that navigation controller that I mentioned Navigation because if you don't do this then it won't work Window dot root view controller navy c and then self dot window Go window all right, we should be good to go. All right, now let's get into building this out. So the first thing we want to do is import map kit to get that map. And let map view equal map. Ah, MK map view. All right, so we'll have a configure, configure um, map function and let's do a configure uh, sheet function so private font configure map so here I'm just gonna add the map to the sub view and just make the map itself or make the view sorry make the frame equal to view dot bounds so it's just going to take up the whole space. And I think that's it for the map. Although if you want to if you want to change the what is it like dark mode or light mode depending on your preference. I believe it's which one is it? I think it's like override. Let me see. Override user interface style, yeah. You could do dark and light. Whichever you prefer. And now here, 
now we're going to go to the sheet configuration. So that's where we're presenting. All right, so in the configure sheets, we have to instantiate the new view controller. And we actually have to create one. <laughs> so let's create, let's just go to Cocoa Touch class. View controller, I think you need to do UI. UI view controller, we'll call this second view controller. Very creative with the names here. And all I want to do here, to be honest, is just put a view dot background color. And you can make this whatever you want. Let's do red. Red, since I'm wearing a red hoodie. Haha. -ha. And we'll let PC equals second view controller. Let nav VC equals navigation with PC. All right, so we have the navigation controller. And I mean, we could present it from here, right? And this wouldn't um it would just present it and then go away from the screen basically yeah look it would just present it and then boom we can't get it back right we can't even do anything <laughs> so we actually have to do that we have to use a navigation controller this one we created navi c dot sheets present presentation controller and this basically gives you the sheet that is being presented and now we make now we can make modifications to this sheet so in ios 15 what they gave us was the dense and here you could um you could do the medium and the large and this will give you that effect that um yeah look medium large medium large and that's that was uh from iOS 15 but now in iOS 16 we got a little custom thing and all we need to do to be honest is uh you do custom you hit enter there and and then you can um just do some multiplication basically you multiply whatever number like a little float a percentage of how it's basically a percentage of the screen because we get, we use happen to context dot maximum dent value and boom look at that that's pretty small i, f I found point 0.1 to be the best but you can adjust it so as your your heart's desire Right, you can do 0 0.05, look at that. <laughs> Let's try 0.1. Dang, barely there. And you can go crazy with it, do 0 0.9. And yeah, that's pretty much it for like the, just showing the bottom sheet, but to persist it, like to make sure it doesn't go away, you can use um, is modal presentation is model is model and presentation you can you, you just set this equal to true and then it shouldn't it should just stay there or it shouldn't go away it should be able to go up to large but it won't go away and that's great and one more thing you can also edit is the corner radius you i think this is going to look super ugly a hundred <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you can <laughs> create something like that um, with the corner radius. And, and yeah, that's that's about it. That's about it, to be honest. Oh, one thing I'd add too, because we can't interact with this right now, actually. So you do need to do sheet dot largest undimmed dent area identifier. And you just want to put large for this because what the um what the sheet is doing it dims out all of this so it basically is not user interactable and with this lesson oh, oh undim it so people can use it did i just start a recording here yeah i did 
All right, now let's see. And now we should be able to navigate our map. Hey, look at that. Let's go to Africa. Where are we going, y'all? Where should we go? Where you want to go? Let me know. Kazakhstan. You can go anywhere. The world is yours. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is pretty much it, to be honest. Um, it's a, it's a pretty cool implementation. I like uh, I like the way Airbnb did it. It's a different, right? Because a bunch of apps, all you have is like the main tab at the bottom here. But they have like a little... It's unique. So shout out to them. And let me know in the comments if you guys found it helpful. If you enjoyed, like, comment, share, subscribe. See you next time. Peace. I'm riding between it all in this perfect place. I'm a piece of the puzzle, my